Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain isotopes and ions, and this actually goes along with geology unit two. Um, the first part, the first chapter, is all about the atom and a little bit more into the chemistry side of things. So there's a part that says the um, atomic structure assessment, I believe that's what it says on Google Classroom. So this is what you will be working on and showing me. And, um, and I wanted to just kind of give you a little uh, tutorial on what you're, you're going to be showing me with this activity. So on my board here, I have this magnetic atom, and then I have all of these little um, magnets to represent the different subatomic particles that are part of a typical atom. So in an atom, we have protons. Protons have a positive charge. We have neutrons. Neutrons are neutral, so you notice there's no, there's no charge with this one. And then we have electrons, which are negative. Okay, so in, let's say, um, if you pick an atom on the periodic table, or one of the, the elements on the periodic table here, let's just try um, boron. And I'm gonna rewrite what boron looks like, This this, um, what's on the periodic table for boron uh, right here, so we can kind of see that. So boron on the periodic table has a symbol of B. It has five as the atomic number. And maybe this isn't. Okay, so boron, five, and then it's got a mass number of 10.81. Okay, so these are these are values that are on the periodic table um, for every single element. So just to show what that looks like, what an atom of boron looks like, I have to take my proton number or my atomic number right here. That's the number of protons. It's also my number of electrons. Okay, so my protons go in the nucleus, right? The protons are positive, they are in the nucleus. So if I look for my protons, I need five of them. So I'm gonna put five in the nucleus, right in the middle, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that gives it a, a five charge, okay? But like we said here, electrons have that negative charge, that's why every element or every atom is neutral. Um, on the periodic table because the protons and electrons cancel each other out. So there needs to be five of each. Five electrons, electrons don't go in the middle, electrons go around the nucleus orbiting in kind of an electron cloud. Okay, so the first ring of the electron cloud can have two electrons. So we would just put two in that first one. That leaves me now with three. And I'm gonna put those in the outer shell Okay, so that's where my electrons would go. Um, and then the last thing is my neutrons, and I need to have neutrons, right? That's still, that's still on there. Um, this number will help me decide how many neutrons I have or need. So 10.81 isn't exactly a whole number. None of them are whole numbers. But if we can get it to the closest whole number, which would be 11, that tells me there are 11 particles in the nucleus subatomic particles in the nucleus. I already have five for my protons, so how many, how many neutrons do I need? If I have five plus how many neutrons, I would need six, right? So I'm gonna put six neutrons in the nucleus. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives me the full you know, version or model of an atom of boron. Now, 10.81, like I said, it isn't a whole number, and that means sometimes there are moments when boron might be a little bit lighter. It might be 10, right? It might be five and five, like that. So it's a little bit lighter when you take one of the neutrons away. 
it doesn't change the fact that it's boron. It's still boron. No matter what you do with the neutrons, it's just either a lighter version of boron or a heavier version of boron. All of these, um, the mass numbers like this, have that. They, they have a, a, an estimation or a, um, an average atomic mass because some of them, it just like anything that you see out in nature, there's heavier versions, there's lighter versions, right? There's just, it's an average. That's what this number is telling us. So the most common version, since this is closest to 11, the most common version of boron is boron 11. That's what we would say there. So that would be an example. Um, you're gonna be doing a couple of them to demonstrate how you understand this to me um, using this uh, model in the back of the room or in the front. I don't know where it'll be. So, all right, let me know if you have questions.